Hey everyone, Craig Williams here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to go through and do a walkthrough of two tracks I've got coming out today on uh, Rotten Records. Um, they're both sort of that sort of techno, electro sort of sound. This one's more on the, uh, this track's called Connect, and this one's more on the electro side, and the other one's Reconnect, and that's more on the sort of techno side. Um, unfortunately, uh, there's no since so I can really show you that it's all sort of hardware um, but I can show you some techniques that I, I did to some of the synths um, to some of the sounds once I got them in um, so hopefully you guys will be able to use these techniques as well so we'll kick it on and I might just turn it down one little bit so I've got this is just the monotribe and all I've done is just cut out two little bits of audio there just to get like a nice little groove going um, and these hats here are from, uh, so that's from the Monotribe and these ones are from the Monotribe as well, these little hats as you can tell I, I just got the Monotribe for these uh, just as I did this track so um, I wanted to utilize as much of it as I could. I didn't have the MIDI uh, part in there yet. I just just had the audio, uh, a little sequencing, so I just cut up the audio to sort of help it work and stuff. Um, also, the kick. Wait a second. Again, see that's just a little section. And then I've got a little fill at the end where I've just cut out little bits. And then I start to, I've got a little Juno part in as well, so. Got the two kicks going into the kick bus there. And as you can hear uh, from the other tutorial, got that rising effect through the track. You can hear there, for some reason, I've got it. I'm sure I build it's probably the wrong color. In here it builds up, builds up, builds up. There was something missing. So there's a nice, nice strong uh, drop there. And all I've done it's just got a sequence of the mono, uh, the mono tribe. Puts in the... So once I take off, you can hear there adds that little bite where I've got the, the peak there. And just... That's where it gets all the nice pumping sound. Drop the kicks out just to add a little bit more. And then in here, you can just got the little snare fill. Something really simple there. It's a pretty simple sort of track. Um, I wanted to just utilize all the sort of analog bits of gear that I've got. Missing. And then for this one, I've just got, so, so I've just got the step sequencer going there. And also to layer up the, the bass, we can show you in this section here. I've just got the, 
And all that is, um, and no, it's not a 101. I want to say that I think that I used a Juno and just named it 101 because that's what I thought it sounded more like, but um, I could be wrong. But again, just got the that sort of subby and then I've obviously EQ'd out all the highs there. So those two together really... I remember making that because I really like um, Jan Driver and some of the effects that he does, so that's why I've, I've made this little effect here. I think that was just with a distortion pedal and uh, one of the uh, outboard synths I had. It's just a profit, just two different patches there, so it makes it sound nice and big. Something missing. And I had them all coming together, so we start off with over here, we start off with just the bass, and that sort of goes through a bit, and then we come in with a synth, and this is the combination, the drop is the combination of those two together to really lift the track up a little bit. Sort of coming into the outro now. That sort of plays on a bit. And sort of kicks back onto this more like little funky bit. And, then, and that's back to exactly what we had for the outro. Um, arrangement wise, I've done this a little bit different. Um, as you can see, I've got, let's go all the way to 17. Kind of got 16 bars there for the kick really comes in. 32 bars, and then I don't go to a break at 32 bars. I do 64 bars before I hit the break. For some reason, I just felt like doing it a little bit different. Um, so yeah, I've got it like that, and then it just come into like the the break there. Uh, I've kept the rest of it pr pretty sort of simple. There's nothing too crazy going on. Um, if I go to the mixer window, as you can see, there's only this is the snare fills, and then there's a couple of soft synths down here, but they're all like white crashes, white bursts, and white rises and stuff like that. Um, Uh, effects wise just got like I said like lots of little rises and builds and stuff like that um, nothing too dramatic um, there's a bunch from samples sample CDs and stuff like that like I got these and then to add a little bit more drama onto the end of it just add that last little bit of a like a hi hat or a reverse crash or something to um, to really sort of give that last little bit of a suck. Um, uh, we've gone. Uh, where are we? I've gone put the, both the kicks in together, like I've treated them a little bit, and then put them both together, and then treated them together, so then. Uh, that sort of gel together a little bit more. We'll just quickly go through the drums so you can see what's going on. Um, got a snare and a clap. Let's just loop this section here. Nothing too. I think that that's from the Modern Tribe. And that's just a sample that I had. So. Nothing too crazy there. Um, hats. Uh, 
That's just the effect that's sort of going on there. As you can see there, if I uh, if I take uh, move fade, so that sound would just be. It was like a little bit too much. I wanted more of a sort of a pumping feel. Instead of putting a whole heap of side chain compression on there, I just put a fade in there as a, instead, which is essentially sort of what it what a side chain compression is doing anyway. It's just ducking um, the sound. So I just did it manually. Um, got a little. Put this little fella on there, and it. Um, as you can hear, there's like a little percussion, jack and percussion loop. It changes it totally. So, just adds a little bit of top end to it and it helps it add just a little bit, um, something for people to listen out for and stuff like that. Pretty non eventful sort of shaker and stuff like that. And then I got a couple of little. Yeah, as you can hear there, got sending them out to lots of effects and stuff like that. And this one's got a bunch on there as well. If you want to see anything in more detail or something like that, feel free just to comment. And that's pretty much about it. Uh, so hopefully you guys like the track. There'll be a link in the description for to listen to this one and the other one plus the remixes. And next up, we'll go on to um, reconnect. So welcome back. Uh, this track's called uh, Reconnect and this is obviously the B-side to that last one and as you can see there is a fair bit sort of going on in this track. Um, both of the tracks have taken a fair while like it's nearly been a year from start to release date but um, I try not to sort of make my tracks sort of following everyone else. So I think, I mean, <clears throat> it's not that long ago that everyone was making Dutch House and then these days if you make a Dutch House track, people are sort of think it's a little bit dated. So uh, anyway, this is the track. It, it's This is, like I said before, it's more sort of techno-orientated. Um, so yeah, I'll just start it up and I can talk about it as we go. So again, for this one I use predominantly um, outboard gear again. So you can hear this is the uh, XOX box, uh, which is like the remake of the 303. Just got like lots of little This one like just really sort of pumping so uh, even though it's, it's pretty sparse in the elements and stuff like that uh, I wanted it just to be just slamming through like the drums nice and slamming and stuff uh, as we come here this is the uh, monotribe there Yeah, and that's a monotribe. And all the filtering is done with the actual monotribe. Uh, as you can see, I've got bits muted out because I didn't think they really worked in those sections. So it's just a bit of trial and error after I played it out a couple of times. Um, and I sort of did a bit of a switch up in this section here. Instead of going really big, I just wanted to go back minimal and just be pumping along. So as you can hear there, it's just, and then I've got the sub going along with it. The 
starts to pick up a little bit. And it, the filters on that, like the, you can hear there, it's just me opening the filter up on the XO Xbox. And it's, all these edits are just me done by hand. Um, just as you can see, it's nothing too crazy, You're just cutting up the audio and just placing it in. And then there's just a little fill. Like a, a longer version of that, um, the initial break with the monotribe. You can see there, this one starts to come in. the techie sort of style. Switch the hats up here. Go a bit faster there. Got all of them playing. I got there's a mono tribe, the sub, there's an XOX, and then I've got a top line. I wanted something on top to, to really drive along, and then the other elements I've got these like dial tone sort of things. These are recorded. This one is from Silence, but this one is from The Prophet. So. That sort of gives it that jacking sort of feel to it. Kick it on a bit. Like it looks like there's lots of percussion there, but if we solo it out, you'll hear. There's not really too much going on at all. All I've just gone is just EQ'd each of those. Um, didn't really need much in the way of too much compression and stuff like that. So and then I wanted for this section to be sort of a, a break where it sort of everything drops down. Everything comes back in, kicking along again. And then from there. So yeah, that's about it for that one. Um, drum wise, uh, let's choose a section that's got lots of drums going on. It's going to be alright. So kicks again, nothing too too crazy. Got the that's like most of the meat, and then just got like a little bit of uh, high end on it. Claps pretty much. So there's like a clap and a snare together. Nothing too crazy. Um, times I played them before. They're from the, I'm not sure where I got those ones from, but the, obviously an 808 sound there, hats. Nothing too crazy going on. Um, shaker. 
as you can hear it's been shuffled along there um, and I got quantize as well um, it's like a little tool room loop from the tool room sample thing these are all the ones from before It looks like it's a XF loop, so probably one of the dead mouse ones. Another dead mouse one. And that's about it for the drum synthesis wise. I uh, talked about the dial tone ones that I had before, each going into the um, to a bus for those. Had the three, uh, the, the two XOXs and the sub. Uh, the Mono Tribe. This is a really good synth that I've been using in a bunch and if you guys would like to get like a little bit of analog but you don't have sort of the money to spend on a, a big piece of kit, this is really good. And the other thing is if you're just still making music in your bedroom, it's you can just have it nice and small and your parents aren't going to get cranky at you and whatnot. Um, yeah, I... I've had a bunch of my friends buy them and they've been producing music for a long, long time and they really like it and they've got like MS-20s and SH-101s, they've got like all these kit and they really still like that and they, so yeah, just something to think about and effects wise it's just a bunch of sort of little samples from sample packs and stuff like that and a couple that I made but nothing too out of this world. And that's about it. Um, hopefully you guys like the tracks. Uh, and if you do, um, maybe if you want to go and buy them, that's cool. If not, hopefully you got uh, a little bit of insight into how I sort of make my tracks and stuff like that. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to head over to my Facebook page and give it a like. Uh, all the support is really appreciated. And uh, also, if you've got any music, don't forget to send it to the SoundCloud listening page. We've got um, a bunch of new music up there, and it's starting, and people are really contributing and, and commenting on each other's tracks, so it's really good to see. Um, that's all for now. Uh, again, all the descriptions and links and everything to these tracks are going to be in the description for the video so uh, or if if you're at the SoundCloud just go and they'll be on there and until next time see you later